Welcome to the Psychotria Plays Podcast. My name's Eric. And I'm Mike. And Mike, I got a question for you. Yes. What do you think is the geekiest thing you've ever done? Oh, boy. Um, how much time do you got? How much time do I have? Yeah. As long as you need, man. Um, I don't know. I guess... Hmm. Well, way back when, I used to be really into wrestling. Like, the whole Attitude Era, when it was, like, back in the day of WWF. Right, right, before the pandas took over. Yes, those damn pandas. Uh, but I do remember... Sort of. I, I there's there's some parts that I really can't remember about about it, but I do remember I created in my own head and like my own imagination, like my own, if I was my own wrestler, because I always had this delusion that like oh yeah I'm gonna be a wrestler one day, and I even like me <laughs> yeah yep yeah, is that it's that bad. So me and I like created one for like a friend of mine who was also really into wrestling and I created one for my brother and I had this whole like idea for, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Like, oh yeah, we'll do backyard wrestling and, and we'll have like a title and this is the whole storyline. Like it'll start with this guy and then it's going to go to this guy. And I don't know what I was thinking. (laughs) Oh my God. I was also like 11 when I was thinking about this. So I'll put that into context. All right, so the fact that you brought that up reminded me of something that I did back in like fifth grade. Uh oh. Um, this is completely unrelated to what I originally wanted to talk about, but I think it's still like funny and cringeworthy at the same time. Well, that's good. When I was in fifth grade, all my friends in my class signed up for this. Uh, this is like you know 1999. Okay. So prime time of the internet. There was a website where you could create your own wrestler. And it was all done in text. What? It was all just text. You create a wrestler, you give him a name, his signature move, and like all that kind of stuff. And like this this website like pairs you up with other wrestlers. And like you have like you have like fights and it gives like the, it, like it's almost like Mad Libs for wrestling, right? Okay. So it like fills in the blanks like, you know, like uh, Eric the Bone Crusher does his signature move, the fart slam. You know, stuff <laughs> like that. And that was the kind of, like, names that, like, my character's moves would be, like, the whirling fart. And yeah, it's, like, yeah. crap like that, right? And I remember, like, I, this was, I was in fifth grade. I was, how were you in fifth grade? 10, 11? I think, we, yeah, we were, like, 10 and 11. I didn't quite have internet etiquette. Uh-oh. So, A, I spammed the shit out of that. <laughs> when I got banned, I pretty like bluntly just was like emailing them and it was like what's going on and then like when my mom found out that I was getting all upset about this and she was like looking at this she's like yeah I don't want you emailing with someone whose like email address is like bad mama jamma <laughs> <laughs> that's so great it was like uh, simultaneously like I want to be part of the cool crowd but I was also like, it was like really cringy just like everything that I wrote about it <laughs> and I have no idea what it was called it, it, the website is probably long gone yeah probably but what I originally want to talk about was this MMORPG I used to play back around 2005. And you know MMORPGs, massively multiplayer online RPGs, role-playing games, were for a time and may still be considered like the pinnacle of nerdiness. Oh, totally. It was like up there along with Dungeons & Dragons. This was like the next logical step. The logical increment. Yeah, yeah. They took it to the next level. I took it a level beyond just the regular, you know, <laughs> EverQuest MMORPG by playing this game called Plane Shift. It was an open source MMO, but it really heavily focused on the role playing aspect of the role playing game. Okay. And what I mean by this is you created a character, gave him a name, it had this elaborate like backstory you pick your parents what their occupation was what your religion is all this crap (laughs) and you have to act as that character you cannot introduce like outside world knowledge like you have to stay in character whenever you play this game oh my god and i played this game for probably a year All right. <laughs> recently, <laughs> recently I logged back on to like its uh, servers, uh, it, like its online like a uh, stat tracking thing. Yeah. And I had an award for over a hundred hours of like gameplay. To oh it. my god! No way. Yeah, and I'm sure it, it was more than just a hundred hours. It was probably like closer to like the two hundred mark, yeah. like probably like one fifty or higher. That's so great. I have like so many memories of playing this game, like. 
staying up late during it was during the summer okay so staying up late and playing like this game just hours spent into it how old were you so 2005 i think i was a sophomore in high school okay so imagine like you know between like 14 and 16 sure i played this on a laptop that my mom borrowed from her uh, her school from work yeah and this was like my only chance of actually playing any mmorpgs i really wanted to get into like uh world of warcraft or everquest i just liked like that idea of you know, playing this massive, sprawling world. Yeah. But none of those games could play on this, like, piece of crap ThinkPad <laughs> that we were able to borrow, except this free-to-play MMO. And it barely played. It, like, it like limped by. The frame rate <laughs> dived all the time. It, it tanked. The, the frame rate tanked all the time. It was slow. It would freeze. There would be graphical glitches. It was, like... It was scraping the barrel for like 2005 era like games. <laughs> yeah. What's messed up is I went back and played it recently. Oh god. It's the exact same. Like nothing has changed. Oh, At least man. nothing visually. And you would think, you know, 10 years later, playing on a computer that's 10 years better, that would run fast, you know, it would be good. <laughs> this must have been taken like some skill to write a game that is terrible on every computer. <laughs> but oh man, Mike, you would have loved this thing. Like you, you, getting past the nerdiness, you would have loved it because it had like that whole like backstory stuff. Oh, totally. I, I dig the whole like lore of things. Yeah, you're you're an Elder Scrolls fan. You're a, totally. a Mass Effect fan. So you're big into world building. Yeah. And this game did a ton of world building. The only problem is you can't understand any of the names. Oh, really? It seems like everything was thrown into one of those random name generators. Oh, God, no. So you get a lot of names that have, like, the double A's, like two A's back to back, or Y's and X's, and just, like, I don't know how to say anything in this game. Yeah, you're, just, you're begging to buy a vowel. Yeah. Let me ask you another question. Yeah. When you were a kid and you were reading books, did you ever f come across a character's name that was too hard to pronounce? Oh, sure. Uh, definitely. I can't think of anything off the top of my head right now, but I, I must have. I actually, I do know somebody, uh, when they first started reading the Harry Potter books, they thought Hermione's name was Hermie One. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yeah, it's stuff like that. Um, so, like, I can't think of any specific examples, but let's say, for example, let's use Hermione as, as an example. Yeah. Let's say I didn't know how to how to pronounce her name as a kid. If I came across a name, I would just say, oh, it's the girl with the H name. It's it's H, right? Yeah. So whenever you see her name come up again in the book, you're just like, H. H cast the spell on Harry, you know, something like that. Sure. That's kind of the problem I'm having now, and I'm 27. <laughs> I'm like... The Yelians and the Nolfrier and the Lemmers and the Yinwin. It's like, <laughs> mm. there's a race. They are like some kind of like, you know, like demon type race. Okay. I'm going to spell out the name and you tell me how, how you pronounce it. Okay. Here are the letters. There are five of them. Y, N, N, W, N. Yinwin? <laughs> I don't know. I would say Yinwin. Yinwin. That make that makes sense. It makes more sense than yin. But like that whenever I say it, I'm like, oh, it's it's a yin. <laughs> what well, did your your character have a name? Yes, and this was before I knew that it had to be like a original name and everything. I named my character Lodo after the hero from the Dragon Warrior series of games. Okay. I didn't know that that was, you know, not kosher. Uh-oh. Did, did they, like, harass you or something? No, no one, like, harassed me or no one ratted me out, but I just remember one person figured it out, and I had to t explain to them uh, in OOC, that's out of character, that when I picked a name, I didn't know that you needed to role play. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so Lodo was um was a a Kleros 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 again don't know how to say it K L Y R O S Kleros I guess yeah Kleros Kleros all right so he was a Kleros which is like this lizard fish type creature and he almost almost picture like the creature from the Black Lagoon okay 
Yeah, you sure. You know, like this like fish type thing. It's got black eyes, like no pupils. Same kind of thing, only this thing had wings, like lizard-like wings. Oh. Dragon wings, All almost. right. And my character's backstory. Oh, yes. Please tell me. I don't remember what my original one was, but eventually I was like, I'm just going to run with this one. I decided to be a bard. Oh, that's that's a very exciting. <laughs> yes, a musician, a wandering minstrel, right? <laughs> and <laughs> there was like no music or anything like that that was really um, built into the game. So what I would do to be to play the part as the bard, I would recite poetry. Oh God! That no. I wrote up on the spot oh my god wait a minute was this did you have like microphones to speak to people or was it you have to do text no it was all text it was all text okay um i'm sure if like you knew people and you could open up like ventrilo or team speak you could do that but yeah if my parents found out that i was playing an online game they would have had my head could you imagine if i was talking with strangers dumb 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 it would have been like world war three in the in my in my household <laughs> <laughs> i got gotcha. you so, okay, so I'm sorry, you were you would recite poetry. Yes, and one time, a player was getting married to another player in-game, and they asked me to write a poem for their wedding. Wow. And I did. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, except oh, that... Oh, man, uh, that would have been great. <laughs> they said it was good. <laughs> oh, all right, well... They liked it, and they appreciated it. That's good. So... It was a supportive community. All right. You know, we're all just a whole bunch of nerds and no one had time to be assholes or jerks to each other. Yeah. So let me tell you a little bit more about my character. Yes, please. One of the things that you could do in this game is write a description for your character that gets displayed when someone like right clicks on your character and looks at like more info. Okay. And I still happen to have my description. Oh boy. And uh, let me read it to you. He's a slim, lean man with almost no visible muscle. With a build like that, it's safe to assume that he is no warrior. His clothes, which are rags, barely provide suitable protection from anything other than a brisk wind. <laughs> slung across his sl- <laughs> <laughs> It's not done. One more sentence. <laughs> slung across his side is a small leather satchel, which he clings to protectively. Oh, God. Oh, this is great. I have no idea where I was going with the satchel. <laughs> or why I am wearing, like, next to nothing. I am, man. I think the point was, like, I'm a bard. I'm a wanderer. I am not wealthy. I am not a warrior. I am just, like, dirty. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it. You're, uh, you're up for a good time, just letting it all hang out of your robes. I was not the only... Kleros, Kleros in the game. I was actually part of a guild of other Kleros. Oh, really? Yes. We were part of the guild called the Kleros of Fury. Oh, boy. And I think at its peak, it had like 11 people. That's that's a pretty badass uh, guild. That That's a gang, man. <laughs> <laughs> we were a gang of nerds, like rolling into town and like reciting poetry to people. Yeah, man. At least I was. Yo, <laughs> Break yourself. I'm about to read you a sonnet. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I say we were a gang because I seem to remember towards like the end of my like time playing, we were starting to get a negative reputation. What were you guys doing? I don't know. I think that's what some other people were doing like when I was not playing, like sprinting some, I don't know, maybe they're just playing like out of character or something. Okay. But uh, it, it was towards the end of my lifetime on the game and I was like, whatever, it's beyond me. So I logged on a few days ago to like see like how much has changed in the game and like I said nothing. <laughs> but do you think they they just the developers gave up? No, cuz the developers actually uh, like posted something like maybe a few months ago, like in April. What have they been doing? It's, it must be like all behind the scenes stuff. First of all, I, I forgot to mention this. This is being developed by an entirely volunteer team. Okay. So this is by no no means. Do not for one second think that this is being done by professionals. Sure. This is done by people who are doing this as a hobby in their spare time. Okay. So there is like no budget other than donations. This is like 
a labor of love for these people. Sure. I don't quite know what the uh, what the stats are for like how many people were playing this game at its peak of popularity. But when I logged on, there were about 20 people online. Still, like currently? Yeah, about 20 people at the time when I logged on. Wow. When I checked, there's a website that I could go to where I could check like some stats, like, you know, how many people have logged on in the past few days. Sure. Um, there was at one, one of the days, there was like at least like 50 people on at once. Huh. That's interesting. So there still is a community that's still playing this game. And so wait, would you like, I guess, walk around and and like interact with the town and, and go on? Could you possibly go on adventures and kill beasts and look for treasures and stuff? Yeah, there were there were some quests that were working, but I found that the combat was so extreme. The difficulty curve was extremely steep. Okay. That... That's why part. I think that was part of my decision to become a bard. I just didn't want to deal with like grinding and leveling up. Like it was a confusing leveling system in the first place. But then having to do that on top of it, it just it was not worth it to me. All right. But there were quests you can do. There were stats to level up, and there were some villages to go to. But there wasn't like much to do beyond that a lot of it was just like creating these fictional worlds with other people like one of the things that i would commonly do is i would go to this local tavern and just like chill and chat with people who are there and you know tell them stories about how i i wandered to the desert town and spent some time there then i wandered back (laughs) (laughs) Uh, that sounds like a great story (laughs) i think most of my time was just spent wandering yeah man do you remember like any of like the back history of like this what what was this realm even called like does it because i know in like the elder scrolls scrolls i believe the world is called like niren or something like that do you remember like what the the name of this like world was again i can't pronounce it very very well but i'll do my best i think it's liacum oh all right illicum maybe it starts with a y and i'm never sure how that how a word that starts with y is supposed to sound Hmm. but it (sighs) The world is very weird. It takes place in a stalactite. What? It takes place in a, in, you know, like a, a stalactite. Yeah, no, no, like, no, you know, I, know, I know what a stalactite is, but what does that even mean? Is this like in... Uh, it's like a Men in Black it? thing, how it's like your galaxy is actually a marble being played by a right. creature in a bigger galaxy, which is in turn... I think it's I was, like one of those kind of things. Yeah, I was thinking like the Grinch, where like the, the Who's are living in a, uh, <laughs> On in a, a snowflake. snowflake. Yeah, yeah, I think it was something like that. Um, okay, it had like different levels to the um, to the, the, the stalactite. There, I think there were like eight or nine levels, kind of like a Dante's Inferno kind of thing. Okay, uh, and the world was like lit by what they called the Azure Star. I guess it was like a crystal in the sky that would explain like why it becomes day and night. Okay, I don't think any of the levels other than the first one were like playable okay but that's the world it took place in (laughs) a giant stalactite hanging from the ceiling of some larger cave that is too big to comprehend all right fair enough so there's more out there yeah a lot more to be explored and god if it's been 10 years and they haven't like really added significant much i am not gonna hold my breath that this game ever gets completed yeah no i wouldn't but it's definitely it's an interesting experience. If you want to get a taste of what it was like back in, you know, 2002, actually, when the game was first built, log on today. Go to planeshift.it and download the game, create an account, and just see what it's like. It is... There's nothing else like it, like, today <laughs> and around anymore. So, it's like stepping into a time machine. All right. Cool beans. And I, like... I don't mean to like sound like I'm shitting on this game because it, it's very much like a labor of love. These are people who are volunteering their time and their blood, sweat, and tears into this game. Sure. You just, you got to understand like those are the limitations. So it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be rough. Yeah, definitely. And I still, I it's still, I still have a lot of like affection for the game. It's still like holds a place in my heart. So like, don't think I'm like shitting on this thing. I, I think it, it's still... From a time when I was completely like geeky. Oh yeah, no, yeah, we all have those uh, those little geeky things. Me with my wrestling. You with your wrestling. Me with my bizarre MMO. <laughs> and I tried playing a few others. Um, I think that the biggest uh, competitor was RuneScape, and there was another one. What was that called? I don't know what it was, but you know the key selling point was it was free to play. All right. So yeah, it's funny that you mention. Uh, 
your your mom borrowed the the computer from school, which makes me think of the only game that I ever wanted to play when I was at school, which was the Oregon Trail. Oh my and God. we had that in my I think my fourth grade classroom. We had the the class computer. And it was a treat. Every so often, she, the teacher would let uh, a handful of students play Oregon Trail. And I never got the chance to do it until one day, finally got the chance. And on like the third... Let me guess. Yes? Let me guess. You wasted all your bullets, you tried to ford the river, and you died of dysentery. No. I didn't even... It would have been... I would have liked that. That would have been exciting. On like the third, like, I don't know, I guess roll if you will i got bit by a snake and died <laughs> that was it on the third screen yeah the third like yeah time like i guess because it it's like next like the next thing that's happening yeah the third i guess thing to happen was me ba- getting bit by a snake and dying and i was like i waited like all year to finally play this game and i died <laughs> instantly yeah i played it once in middle school and like everyone's like Dude, you gotta you gotta play the, the shooting game. You know, it's, you could shoot, you could go hunting. It's your it's your way to shoot. And I was like, this is stupid. It's bad. <laughs> Did you what what kind of computer was it though that you had? Oh God, I have I have no clue. Because my elementary school had uh, Apple II computers. Oh really? Like you had to get the big like five inch floppy disks and put them in (laughs) and you had to do like command prompts and she would like write up on the board this is what you have to type in to get it to work oh wow but i don't i don't think it was the apple 2 it was like probably one of the uh versions of it it had color okay because apple 2 was just green this had at least color i'm trying to remember what i think it was the one it's not i don't believe that they're still in business anymore the one with like i guess the cow print gateway gateway yeah, I think, gateway, it was a, I think I bought. I think the name's still around, but oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was a gateway computer. That was actually the fir- my fir- family's first computer, like the first like household family computer was a gateway. Windows ninety five. Oh god, we had a we had a Macintosh Performa seven sixty or something like that. Hmm. We were Macintosh from like the get go, and I always resented my parents for that. I was like, why couldn't you have Windows like? everyone else why couldn't i play the games like <laughs> everyone else could and i like i finally asked my mom that like one year she's like i went to the store i tried it out it's the one i like the best fair enough all right fair enough that, that that's a fair argument yeah i i thought that like we i went for years thinking like we got like stuck with this just like it was like like it's like who gets a mac like we get <laughs> like this was before they were cool this is before steve jobs and the imac this is like yeah that's like so many games like can i play it oh it's not mac compatible and you know what i would get i get the freaking like uh you know living books arthur's teacher trouble and you know oh god so many like edutainment games <laughs> yeah hey it, it built character and now you're the man you are exactly i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that Mac. <laughs> exactly. Well, Mike, I think that uh, we have reached our, like, a lot of time for tonight. Totally. I look forward to doing this again with you sometime soon. Absolutely. Thanks for listening, folks, and uh, keep it classy. Peace out. Boo-doo-doo-doo-doo. Boo-doo-doo-doo-doo. Doo-doo-doo. Bling, 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 bling.